Now tonight we're learning more about the firing of Lafayette Police Chief Thomas Glover. He's been on the job less than a year and his termination was announced this afternoon in a news release. The big question tonight is why? Three's on the street. Amon Boy joins us from LPD. Amon, what'd you find out? The Guillory administration isn't saying much about their decision to let go of former police chief Thomas Glover. Even council members are saying there's an issue when it comes to transparency. How is it a personal matter? He's a public figure. This was an employee of Lafayette Consolidated Government, and we're not making any comment at this time, okay? LCG Chief Communication Officer Jamie Angel declined to answer our questions when approached at City Hall about the firing of the Chief of Police. We as council members were not given any advance notice of this happening, and I'm very disappointed that we had to find out through a press release. It's a decision some in Lafayette government, like City Councilman Glenn Lazard, didn't see coming. Social media posts show the chief on the job Wednesday night at a community town hall. In my personal opinion, I think that Chief Glover has been doing a wonderful job in terms of running the department. Some of the changes that he had proposed, and I'm very disappointed that he never got a chance to complete the job. The greatest police department in our country. With that being said, I invite our new chief of police, Chief Glover. Thomas Glover was introduced as Lafayette's new police chief just before Christmas. But soon, reports surfaced some officers questioned his leadership. We reached out to the Lafayette Police Association to see if that could have led to his termination. I deferred to the mayor president. That is his call. He made that decision for whatever reasons. The union now focusing on moving forward under new leadership. Sergeant Wayne Griffin, a 19 year veteran at LPD, has been named interim. The police association is really excited about working with Chief Griffin, making our community safe again and getting our department where it was and where it needs to be. Lazard says that Glover was still within his one year probation and he did not have civil service protection. We did reach out to Glover as well as the new interim chief. We're still waiting to hear back. Threes on the street in Lafayette, Iman Boyd, KTC TV3. This is the latest change in leadership for the Lafayette Police Department in the past few years. Former Chief Toby Aguilar resigned in January 2020 when Mayor President Josh Guillory took office. A nationwide search for his replacement was then launched, but after several months, the department received only four applicants, all from Acadiana. The search was reopened in September of 2020, at which point a total of 10 people applied, but only two of them were from out of state. Thomas Glover was selected out of six finalists, and the now interim police chief, Wayne Griffin, was also one of the finalists.